Hey guys, I think I'm gonna make these glasses my aesthetic from now on when I'm talking to you IRL. But anyways, here we are 2019, first video of 2019 on the channel. This video is going to be kind of a quote-unquote review of how last year went, and I'm also gonna be talking to you about some pretty important changes that are gonna be happening on the channel in the following year. Sorry if you see me glancing towards my monitor here. Uh, I have notes pulled up for this video. I kind of had to sum up my ideas, otherwise it's gonna be like a half an hour jumbled mess, which I'll have to edit for like two days to get out. So, what happened last year? Well, overall, last year, aside from being a shit show IRL in terms of global stuff, for my channel, it was a pretty good year, and for gaming as well. Not as good as it could have been, but, you know, I played some games I really enjoyed, both on the channel and off, like Dark Souls Remastered, Soul Calibur, Smash Ultimate, even Fortnite are all games I had tremendous fun with the last year. However, where my channel kind of struggled, I feel like, is in the growth department. Essentially, I had almost zero growth on the channel. I mean, I gained like 25 subs all the way from like, I'm guessing like June up to mid to the end of November. Now, the views also reflect that um, views were pretty much down on a lot of my playthroughs that were not Dark Souls related. And, you know, there can be several reasons for that. First of all, I have really started to notice this year that the type of content I'm doing, these kind of 30 minute plus gameplay videos uploaded each day, you know, they are really not being pushed by YouTube currently. I mean, the thing is, YouTube is always changing around what it's pushing and what it's not. For example, I don't know how many of you have been around for a while. YouTube essentially killed animation type content back in like 2011, 2012, when they changed monetization. And I feel like they're always kind of messing around with algorithms and tags and kind of what gets pushed to the top of a search page. And I feel like this type of content is currently not being pushed. I mean, you just have to look at some of these other channels that do this type of content, even like the really big ones like Tetra Ninja and I guess like the Red Brad and people like that. Even their views are like way, way down because I think this content currently is out. You know, new people are not finding my videos and even if they do find them, uh, there are some quality issues. I don't know if you noticed that if you watch my videos in anything other than 1080p these past couple of months, like the quality when there is like any type of big movement on screen is absolute trash shit. First, I thought I was rendering my videos badly. I was like, what the hell is happening? I render them, it looks perfect. I upload them to YouTube, it looks like shit. I tried like every format and everything. And then I did some research online. Turns out it's YouTube. So basically how it used to work is uh, if you got a certain amount of views and you had a certain amount of base subscribers, YouTube applied this codec on your video. I think it's V9C or VC9, I don't remember. Something like that, it doesn't matter. And your videos would look normal when there's movement. If you're a shit tier channel, like pretty much anything under 100K, which is a lot of channels, myself included, no matter what you upload in, YouTube will apply an MP4 codec onto the video which will cause these issues with movement because mp4 is not very good for the like really fast flashy explosion movement type stuff so if you notice like the really pixelated quality on my videos when there's like movement in anything under than 1080p that's why you know if i saw a channel like that i'd pretty much not continue watching and not sub either i would i would be like you know what these people don't know how to make videos like, they have almost 10k subs and their quality is shit. So, you know, there's, like, issues outside of my control. However, and this is the big however, I've noticed that streaming is an entirely different beast. It seems that YouTube is really pushing streaming, maybe in an effort to compete with Twitch. For example, the aforementioned quality and codec stuff does not seem to apply to any type of streamed content. So, essentially, this is going to be the big change. In 2019, I will be moving away from episodic content and shifting my channel towards streaming. Now, I know some of you might not like this. Uh, some of you might be upset about these changes. But honestly, at this point, I have to evolve. You know, you either change with the times or your channel gets left in the dust. I think I already 
wasted a lot of time by waiting. However, I just didn't have like the necessary internet quality and time to push out kind of streamed content. Not that, not that I worked out a schedule, it's gonna be a little bit easier to handle. Plus, to be completely honest with you, I've started getting bored of this format as well. As you probably saw, the last year for me wasn't exactly the most consistent with daily uploads. And just sometimes, you know, I just wanted to take a break. Sometimes I just didn't feel like uploading. Sometimes I didn't have a chance to record episodes ahead. You know, and that kind of messed me up, caused me to miss out days and all that. So basically, what's going to be happening is I will be using January to finish all my current quote unquote outstanding playthroughs. We have Neo, Dark Souls 3, and Darksiders 3. I'm gonna be taking the time to finish all three of these playthroughs, so don't worry. They are, this streaming stuff is not gonna be starting right away. Around mid-January, I should be getting even doinker internet, uh, actual fiber optic, because I'm switching providers. And that means I will be able to stream even more consistently and even better quality-wise. So the streaming format will probably start then, kind of like mid-January. I will make a full announcement on the exact date and all of that, it's probably gonna start on a Monday. So essentially, the schedule is going to be uh, the following. It's gonna be hopefully on screen as well in written format and down in the description as well. So Saturdays are going to stay. Saturdays are my main streaming day. It's when I always stream. It's kind of when most people have free time to join and all that. The time for that is gonna stay 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central European Standard Time. I will also put the kind of time conversions in the description for that. That again will stay constant, same as always. And the weekly streams are gonna be alternating between the following schedules. So week one is going to be Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9 Central European Standard Time. These are all Central European Standard Time, by the way. Second week is gonna be Tuesday, Thursday, 7.30 to 9. And third week is going to be Wednesday, Friday, 7.30 to 9. Now you might be asking why I have the schedule weird like that. Well, it's because of a lot of stuff. You know, I have work, I have a full-time job, I have a dog that needs walking, I sometimes wanna go to the gym. You know, I have like other activities, IRL, I wanna hang out. I also wanna make some other videos which I will talk about later. And this kind of schedule kind of allows more flexibility for me. Also, it will allow people who maybe cannot watch a stream or are just like, you know, not able to join, it will allow them time to catch up on any content they might have missed. Now, of course, again, because of work, I have to travel for work and just other IRL stuff, these schedules might not always be consistent. Sometimes things will change. I know this 100%, there's no way they won't. So, I will try to update you as soon as possible on any streaming changes or when I cannot stream or anything like that. However, because of that, you know, I don't say this often, but I really, really urge you guys to turn on the little bell notification next to my subscribe button and turn on post notifications. So this way you will get my community posts, which, you know, I kind of post before starting streams and all that. I will also be using the community page to update you on any potential changes. And this way, when I am starting to stream, you will get a notification, even if you can't join. I mean, I understand. I have IRL stuff as well. Everyone has IRL stuff. If you cannot join, you know, that is completely fine. Or if you only can join for like five minutes, 15 minutes, it doesn't matter. I completely appreciate it. Just the fact that you will get some information that I'm even doing it is really important. Because, you know, I don't have post notifications on for all the channels I watch and it's shitty. I do miss a lot of content. And again, I really, really urge you to turn on post notifications. So basically, game-wise, uh, how it will work is I will have a main game which will be streamed on the first day and on Saturday. So either Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday and Saturday. The reason I have it like this is because I really don't want uh, to take like 10 weeks to finish a game. Like this last Dark Souls 2 playthrough, which a lot of people watched, it literally took 10 weeks for me to finish because I'm only streaming one day. Uh, streaming it twice a day, having a main game, will allow me to cut down on the time. It will be better for you, hopefully you don't have to wait one week for me to continue a game. You know, it will allow me to remember stuff, and it, it will just be better. So the quote-unquote in-between day will be the side game, which is gonna be anything. Honestly, right now I am completely open to game suggestions. I have some ideas, I might do Smash, I might do a bit of Street Fighter V Season 4, but if you have suggestions, 
again, I am completely open. If it's something that I can acquire, which with digital downloads, I can acquire most things. <laughs> as long as it's not like a $200 COD legendary edition, again, I am completely down to play anything. I will say that I will for sure start with a Souls game as my main game, or maybe, just maybe something blood related. I'll just say that much. And also, this doesn't mean that my other type of video content will go away. So I actually had great success this year with the sort of quote unquote miscellaneous, God, I'm using quote unquote a lot, with the miscellaneous category of videos that I sometimes do, you know, like the commentaries, maybe checking out one character in a fighting game. You know, when I commented on the whole EU copyright stuff, those videos do great. So I will for sure be continuing this kind of like eight to 10 minute little commentary videos. I might even throw a couple of vlogs in there if I'm feeling like it. When the weather is not shit, maybe I'll throw in a couple of vlogs, you know, anything. So there will be other type of content. And of course, every stream will be archived. The VOD will be up so you can catch up later. And yeah, there will be other videos. So yeah, that's basically gonna be the changes for 2019. I hope you guys understand why I'm changing and hope you will kind of like this kind of stream format. Also, I gotta say, one thing I am doing currently is it's January, which also means it is January, especially on Instagram. So what January is, is basically like a challenge to anyone who does music to essentially post like a little music stuff. You don't have to use this. This I got for Christmas. Any type of little equipment, piano, guitar, whatever, and post a short, you know, 50 second to one minute music jam every day for January. So that is currently happening right now on my Instagram. I'm going to upload the first one later. But it's happening there right now. So I really urge you to check out my Instagram. It's Mr. Underscore Sketchhead. I've said this before, but it's also probably the best way to get into contact with me because you can shoot me a DM, slide into those DMs, and I will get every single message. So if you want to do that, go ahead. There will be one more announcement uh, before starting the streams, as I said, and some other stuff. I know a lot of people have been asking for a Discord. That will happen. So don't worry, I will make a Discord before I start this kind of streaming schedule. So yeah, basically, to sum up this video, I will be streaming more. Please turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram if you want some music stuff. And like, comment, and subscribe. I'm literally 48 subscribers away from 10K. And 10K is a big number. I will be so happy when I hit 10K. So if you're new here, if you like me, if you like my shirt, if you like my glasses, I'm only kidding, of course. Make sure to like and subscribe and do all that. And yeah, I hope to see you next year with streaming. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Again, games will continue January on Instagram. And yeah, peace out. See you.